Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, an online community for people who are curious, want to learn new things and improve themselves in different ways. It includes classes on numerous topics, including guitar playing and music production. Only 15 minutes a day can really help with your guitar playing. I know because I've recently done this and it's worked wonders for my playing. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen, and it's good to have you along. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Today I'm going to be talking about the 15 minute practice routine that I've been doing for the past two months and why it's worked wonders for my guitar playing. Uh, I'm going to talk about what exactly I practice, why it works, which bits you can swap out to suit your style and why it's so much fun. <laughs> and it's just 15 minutes a day and it really works. Bit of a backstory, I've been playing guitar since I was 11, when I was around 14, I guess 15, maybe. I really started practicing a lot. I did three hours a day, every day, sometimes uh, way more than three hours. And then at some point, I just, I was playing professionally and I kind of stopped practicing. And around last Christmas, I kind of woke up to realize that I've been unhappy with my playing for quite a while now. And this made me wonder, what should I do? And this is exactly what I did. I went back to what I was doing way back when. Simple goals, measurable stuff. So I did a few finger exercises, but you can change this out to basically anything. Uh, the first finger exercise I did, quite simple, and I'll show you the, the exercise with tab and also how you can isolate certain problems. So this is what I did. And so on. And I did this with one of these. Yes, a metronome. What's so great about a metronome? I actually don't like practicing with a metronome too much or I didn't used to. But the great thing is that it gives you, it, it lets you measure your progress. So uh, when I started I could do roughly this. That's 120 beats per minute. And I was shocked at how how slowly I could pull it off relatively cleanly. I don't care about being super clean, but I want it to be relatively <laughs> clean. Um, and 120 was like, man, I need to really practice. And I did, I practiced 15 minutes a day. Not only that, but we'll get to the other stuff. And it was, t it was tough, it was hard work. I really forced myself to do it every single day. I think I've missed two years, uh, two years, two days this entire year uh, where I haven't had a guitar for a whole day and I've tried to make up for the lost time the following day. It's not ideal but it's better than just missing a day. And slowly I started seeing results and those results really inspired me. Suffice it to say that I my reco record now I've gotten to 176, which is my record. Probably can't do it now, but I can try, let's see, 160. Not entirely clean, um, fairly satisfied with it, I'm not entirely happy, but still, uh, it's way better than 120 that I was doing uh, just a couple of months ago, three months ago. Before we go on, I'd like to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. They have plenty of material out there, both for beginner and intermediate guitar players, such as Music Theory 101 by Henry Olsen, which looks very useful. There's over five hours of material in there, so there should be plenty you can learn, even if you're an intermediate guitarist. Personally, I've been looking at Filmmaking for All, Tell Your Story Through Video by Don Mace to improve the content on this channel and it's very interesting stuff which has given me ideas and food for thought. So there's plenty of stuff there, not just guitar playing. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description box or my code Elmo Karjalainen will get a one month free trial of Skillshare, so check that out. 
And what happened was that when I was doing this 15 minutes a day and I started to see results, that kind of started feeding my motivation. Suddenly I realized after a week or two that after 15 minutes I was thinking, yeah, I could do five more minutes. And then suddenly that became 15 minutes plus an hour, 15 minutes plus two hours. And one day, again, only 15 minutes because I only had time for 15 minutes. But I thought, if I cannot find 15 minutes per day, then I really need to change something. And that fed my motivation to keep going. Now, like I said, this was not the only thing that I was doing. I was doing uh, something like this. I was doing string skipping. All technical exercises, you can swap those out for other things. I'll let you explain how uh, in a while. But the one I did the most, and there are a couple of others coming up soon, but the one I did the most in the beginning was this. And I ran into a few problems. Uh, this bit... Um, This bit, for some reason I had huge trouble with that. So, uh, after a while I just, well, we'll just do that. Whoops. <laughs> uh, so I did that for a while and then I got over that difficulty. I don't know why I had that specific difficulty. And then I noticed I was having trouble changing strings at a certain point uh, or a certain uh, tempo when going this way. Uh, I still struggle with that a bit. So what I did was I honed in on the problem and this is, I think this is true of any kind of practice. You uh, try, if you are having trouble with something, try to isolate it and just work on that. It's like having a five minute song and four minutes in there's a bit that you have trouble with. There's no point in starting over from the beginning and then you have trouble with that one thing at four minutes and you start over again. Just work on that one little bit makes much more sense. So what I did was, I just did this. Completely isolating the right hand, because that was the one that was causing the trouble. This is kind of where we get to what you can do. Uh, you need to make up your own mind about what you want to do. But what I did was uh, I wanted to do this because I've never liked this too much or I've had a problem with it. And it's the problem is that it's not, you can't, you play that over anything and people just say, hey, thanks, see you. And uh, no one will listen to you, no one will want to listen to you, you won't want to listen to yourself playing this over a kind of... People will think you're crazy! <laughs> So I was thinking, what can I do uh, with this uh, alternate picking thing where I practice my alternate picking uh, but that it's musical? Because I mostly I economy pick, so I do three notes per string, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, and then uh, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, and so on. How can I practice my alternate picking? but so that I can use it in a musical setting. And then I thought about, well, how about this? That's alternate picking, it's six notes per string. So I started doing that with the metronome. And 
Same kind of thing. Huge trouble with that, especially going this way. <laughs> And there I actually decided not to do alternate picking strictly because I was again having trouble uh, with changing strings so I just did down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down. So when I changed strings I just continued with an upstroke and just reversed the whole thing. Now like I said these things are easily measurable because you can do them with a metronome and I did and I started branching out into other stuff. Uh, happy with that either. But it's way better than it was. And then I decided I want to start learning Queen solos because hey why not? I love Queen and I've never learned a single solo of Brian May's I think ever. So I started with... <laughs> And now, here's why this stuff works, why it really works and why uh, it helps your motivation. You have to start somewhere, you have to kind of force yourself to get going. Get, starting is often, at least for me, the most difficult bit. Uh, or maybe not starting, but I did a few days and yeah, that was fine. And then it started feeling, do I have to do this again? And I just forced myself to keep going. But then when I saw my progress, I was, yeah, nice, that feels good, and I want more of that, that feels good. And this works because you're setting goals, you're me measuring progress. And if you want to progress faster, you'll uh, practice in a focused manner. So for me, the goal was evident. It was, if I could do 120, it's the next number on the metronome, 126. Uh, and when I could do that, it was the next number, and, and the next number. And the same for all of these other things. And again, I'll get to uh, non-metronome stuff in a second. I always had a new goal. It feels good. It feels great. Uh, and I got 276, managed to do that a few times. And then I noticed that I was getting bored. So I kind of, I started having trouble again. And I just did the mandatory 15 minutes again. And then I realized that I've kind of, I don't want to go further, so I need to practice something else. So I started doing this, actually yesterday. Oh, wait a second. And that's potentially something you could use in a musical setting. So working on speed again. You could have a slightly more abstract goal of working on your bends. You could say, let's say that you're reasonably happy with your vibrato, but your bends are uh, slightly all over the place. So you start practicing your bends with, for instance, this. This is a great bend exercise. And then you maybe play something like Parisian walkways. Really focusing on your bends. Record yourself. Day one. Do it day two. Day three. Maybe day four. Record yourself day five. And see if there's been any progress. Again, 15 minutes every day. Do your bends, <laughs> do your bends, uh, record yourself every four or five days and eventually you will notice that there is progression there and that will give you motivation. And if you get frustrated, by all means play something else, I mean I do as well, I just go out. Ah! 
and th but then you get back to it. Another thing you could do is just, I want to improve my ear. How do you improve your ear? <laughs> you transcribe stuff. That will help. Uh, could be other stuff as well. You could, um, let's say, decide I want to learn a new scale. I don't know how the diminished scale works, so I'll just sit around and practice my diminished stuff. <laughs> And you could say, uh, my, diminished, I, my diminished stuff is horrible, so I know basically one position that I use sometimes to f make people go, what's he, what's he doing? Uh, but if I was to work on it, maybe that's something I will do. I would do one string at a time, so I get all the positions seamless. Um, so let's say you're doing um, the G major scale, you could do... You could just do it like... it helps with the reference point. You could learn new chords. I have the goal to learn a new chord every day. But 15 minutes, it's all it takes. And I've gone, like I said, I've gone from 120 to 176. I can do 168 almost basically every day, unless I'm really tired. And I notice it when I play, when I just improvise stuff, it feels better. I like my playing a lot more. I'm happier with it now than I was a month ago. And it's just 15 minutes a day. So, set yourself some goals, think about what you can do. I mean, and you can, you have to be creative with this if you're doing other kinds of stuff, but try to keep in mind, goals are the important thing and that you can measure them and do your practice in a focused manner. Leave your phone in another room, turn off notifications, stuff like that. Tell your mum to bugger off. <laughs> Tell your mother to <laughs> not disturb you. Something like that. And you will see results. Now, uh, I said that I went from 120 to 176. Uh, I've had prior practice when I was younger of this, so you, your results will probably not be as fast. Your progress will not be as fast. But if you're doing a finger exercise, measure something for a month or two and come back to the comments and leave a comment. This is how much I've progressed. I'd be really interested to know. Try to isolate problems and uh, do stuff in a focused manner. Be determined. And I'm, I'm sure you will see results. Even just 15 minutes a day. And then you'll get more motivation and maybe you'll be practicing many hours a day. If you want to watch more of my lessons, there's a playlist here. If you want to check out some of my music, please do, there's a playlist here. If you want tab for stuff that I'll be practicing in the future, uh, I'll be putting that on Patreon. You can check that out in the description. There's a link there. You get access to all my music lessons, uh, exclusives. You can even take that stuff for free if you want to. I hope you liked the video, click like if you did, comment, let me know what you thought and subscribe if you haven't already hit that bell notification thing. And above all, I hope you have a nice day and see some results from this. Take care. Goodbye.